welcome to Crafty Ames Workshop. Today I am letting you know how my Ruth challenge went, or the September challenge. And I did finish it. I, uh, you know, it's only four chapters, but I took my time with it. Um, I didn't do it every day. In fact, um, I took so much time in between each writing sometimes that uh, I actually had to rush and get it done the very last night in September so <laughs> I took a little bit too much time to do it so, so like a lot of days I would just do a couple verses a day some days I didn't do it at all so and then other days I would get get some pictures or whatever so I can put in here but um, so one thing I did with this that I wish I didn't do was I did not take the time to write neatly. So when I open this up, you're going to see some pretty messy handwriting. Um, so I think for the next challenge, I am going to take my time and I'm going to go ahead and write neatly. And I'm just going to try and get it done as quickly as possible and then add the stuff later as uh, as the month goes on so this is uh, the book that you saw before I started writing in it I had used a just a small um, comp uh, composition notebook mini one that I got at Dollar Tree and it's that thin but after I got done with it <laughs> as you can see it's that thin let me go this way so it's that this one's real chunky now but it started out being that one so as you can see I did add some decoration to it just a little I didn't do a whole lot I didn't get real artsy um, but let me just show you what I did so you, you saw how I did the front. I did a video on that. I did my uh, little pockets in the front. I wrote down what the challenge was and then I finished it. So that's what that one says. On the back, I didn't fill it out yet. I don't know what I want to put on it yet. So I just left it blank for now. But if you want to see that video of when I covered this up and you want to see how I did it, just watch that video. I'll link it. So the first couple pages, uh, I just I found images on Google Images. Um, so none of these are my work. These are other people's work that I just found very inspirational and thought would go very well in my little book here. I put on on the left side of each page I put some uh, scrapbook paper to give it just give it a little bit more life and then in the beginning I wrote down the information that I found in the uh, rainbow study Bible um, and it told about the author the date written um, where it was written to whom it was written um, keywords. I put whatever their information was in the Bible. In that particular Bible, I put it in here. So, and I did the outline that they had on there. And then begins chapter one. Um, so I watercolored either with actual watercolor or I used the um, gelatos. Let me show you that if you don't know what gelatos are. They're just like little... It's, it kind of makes me think of lipstick, but it's not. But it is a waxy type, a waxy type uh, thing. And you can use it by itself without adding water, or you can activate it a little bit, and it'll be like watercolors. So it's really fun to use. So all these images just came from Google Images. And so, you know, I only got like a couple verses on each page, and so I tried to find an image for at least one of the verses or something that had to do with that particular page. So, I 
I tried to be a little creative with that, but and then there's a boo-boo right there. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm still going to keep it forever. And we're just going to go with it. And some of these are coming off. I need to re-glue them. Um, I did want to tell you all that I used the... The Elmer's Washable Clear Repositional Glue Stick. Which was great when I used it. But it does not stick. It does not stay stuck. And you have to re-stick everything. So... I would recommend not bothering to waste your money on it. I didn't care for it at all. I'm going to stick with my staples unless I find a another glue stick that does better than the staples glue stick. So like I said, images are all from Google. It was a very good study. I enjoy the book of Ruth. It is uh, definitely a book of honor and love towards um, Naomi, the mother, and it's just a beautiful story. If you haven't read it, you need to read it. And plus, as some of you know, Jesus came, or Jesus' lineage comes from, partly from, Boaz and Ruth. Right there. Another thing that I found on Google. So, and I might add stickers and stuff more when I look at it again, when I go through it. I might say, oh, that's too plain. I need to add something to it. So, um... And then I had just a couple pages left, to be honest. It was four chapters, and I had one, two, and I added these. So if I didn't add those, that would be four. So only four pages. Well, five pages if you add this one. Just to write that out. So there's Ruth. Did any of you guys do this? I would love to hear from you if you did the challenge. Um, Cat Woods now has a new challenge. We are doing Ephesians. So go on to her website and check out e the Ephesians challenge if you haven't done so already. This is the book that I'm going to be doing Ephesians on. I may go ahead and get some of those um, stickers that you can put on your wall, but they make smaller, small ones as well. And I may put that on there. Uh, but this is just a regular notebook um, journal type book that I got from Walmart. I think it was $3.99. Here it is. Receipt. Let's see. $3.93. Plus tax here in the area I live was 9.75% tax. So a total of $4.31 for this. And it's a nice one. It's um, by, it's a leatherette journal by Pen and Gear. Um, it's a Walmart brand. Um, it lays really flat. So I can't wait to start writing in it. My thought was though I'm going to go ahead and do Galatians first. I'm going to do Galatians and Ephesians and if I can fit any other books in here after that I will. Um, so I'll probably do that this month um, and I hope you all participate in it too because it's a it, it really can open your eyes if you just have read um, these books Maybe sometimes writing it can open your mind a little bit more and it'll further your education on what God is telling us. Um, and it may spur you to want to dig deeper, which is really important. So there you have it. 
And of course, you know, I couldn't resist getting pink. I love the fuchsia. This one is actually a bright pink, which I love. So, okay, this is it for this week. Next week, I hope to have um, a craft, but I don't know for sure. Um, I have a lot going on right now, and I'm going to have a video talking about that as well in, in a future video. Um, so hope, But hopefully next week we will have an actual craft video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. You have a great day. Look up Catwoods and the October challenge, which is Ephesians. And I will see you all next week. Bye!